and welcome to the East African University, the wellspring of knowledge and character. On normal orientation, we invite you to campus, we chat, we have food and drinks, and introduce you to an amazing campus experience. But due to the COVID-19 pandemic, that is not possible this year. I'm Lynette Chalangat, and this is the East African University Virtual Orientation. I'm Emily Msembi, Senior Library Assistant at the East African University. I'm going to give you a quick orientation basically on what the library has to offer as you pursue your career with us. The library building is open from Monday to Friday and the operating hours are from 8 a.m. in the morning to 9 p.m. in the evening. On Saturday, the library operates from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. However, you can always access our library online anytime. Our library is automated and uses an open source library management system called Koha. The system can be accessed through online public access catalog, that is OPA. A highly trained professional staff is available to serve you. Being research experts, we may not know the answer to, the, to every question immediately, but we know where and how to find the answer. Librarian can assist you with research, library resources, library holdings, and library technology. With regards to library collections, we have both physical and electronic collection. Physical collection entails books, periodicals, and other reference materials. Students are allowed to borrow four books for duration of two weeks, and any delay will incur fine. However, because of COVID-19 pandemic, Students are not allowed to study from the physical facility. In terms of e-resources, students will access via our library website and link. The collection also houses university journals, newspapers, and magazines. The library has got various sections, that is, circulation section. It provides lending services and facilities for return of loaned items. It holds collection of library materials which are organized, classified using Library of Congress classification scheme to facilitate access and retrieval. Reading area, it provides a conducive environment for reading, research, and consultancy. Periodical section, it contains newspapers, magazine and university journals. Multimedia section, this section is equipped with computer to gain access to information in the internet. Faculty and students can use this section to search for materials available in the library using free and online databases. In case you have any question about any of the library services, please send us an email through library at tu.ac.ke. Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Gubba from the ICT department, the University System Administrator. For our online enrollment, please visit our website www.tau.se.ke. For more information, please visit our Facebook page, the East African University, and our official YouTube channel for more videos and tutorials. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. With the new Internet of Things and the emerging of the COVID-19 pandemic, the university has embraced in new high-tech IT solution and partnered with various mobile service providers to counter the cost of data. This initiative has enabled us to facilitate virtual learning in and off campus. Our dominatable and resilient ICT team is always ready to assist you with any technical issues which you may experience during your academic journey. My name is uh, Madam Rosalind Karibi. I am the career director at the East African University. Uh, in the career uh, department, we ensure wholesome, academically, personal development, and uh, character-wise. And uh, in this department also, we, we assist our students in career selection, whereby we walk you through the journey of the several courses that we are offering at the university. And uh, once you are confident with the career of your choice, we ensure that you develop that career. That way we do it through workshops, through lectures, through seminars, 
through field, through, through industrial visits, and uh, as as well as looking for mentorship, attaching you with a mentor who will help you, who will assist you uh, throughout your career journey. And then we also deal with the personal development, whereby we ensure that apart from academic development, you are also developing personally. This one entails a uh, realization of uh, who you are, self awareness. It also uh, moves on to personality, whereby you are able to discover your weaknesses and your strength, and you work on your weaknesses and you improve on your strengths, as well as we teach you on leadership, leadership skills, how to organize, how to plan, and how to function in, in the industry that you enter after you graduate. I am Nevin Musola, HOD, Computer Science and Information Technology Department. The Department of Computer Science offers two programs, that is Computer Science and Information Technology and Business Information Technology at different levels, that is Bachelor's, Diploma and Certificate. At Bachelor's level, each of the programs should be covered in four academic years. An academic year comprises of two semesters with at least 14 course units seven for each of the semesters. You will also be required to go for a field attachment for at least two months in the course of your study. Diploma programs take three semesters of classwork at and at least two months of internship, while certificate takes two semesters of classwork. You will also be tested through assignments, sitting cards and main exams. Despite the challenges posed by the pandemic, your first semester as new students will commence in September 2020 through the Students Portal. You will be guided on how to go about it. For more information, contact the HOD through mobile number 0725816357 or the email mnevin at tu.ac.ke. Our dear students, my name is Emily Sinkett, the Dean of Students in Charge of Students Affairs at the East African University. I wish to take this opportunity to welcome you to this great university, your school and your home for the next four years. The role of the Students Affairs Office is to collaborate with other faculties and other partners to ensure our students develop and realize their full potential. This we achieve by integrating spiritual, moral, cultural and social dimensions of the student's educational experience. We work hard to offer you opportunities to expand your learning experience beyond the classroom. We will provide you with all sorts of ways to explore your interest and passion. We will provide support with guidance and advice on academic and other issues in order to make living and learning at the East African University as comfortable as possible. This office is the point of contact of all students. When you have an issue, this is the office to go to. The Students Affairs Office focuses on the following areas. The first one is the student leadership. This is the student governing body, which is a link between the students and the university management. It plays an integral role in university management as it contributes to decision making on matters affecting students, academic and social living on campus. Number two is sports. We have both the outdoor and the indoor games. So your life in campus doesn't have to be only academics. We have football, volleyball, basketball, badminton, table tennis, and pool table. We also have coaches who are readily available to train you to perfect your skill or even develop a new hobby. Social activities. We carry out talent shows, campus modeling for Mr. and Miss TAU, freshman welcome parties, cultural week, environmental week, just but to mention a few. For your welfare as a student, we have a guidance and counseling department which is meant to work with you in your day-to-day -day choices about life here. We have a well-equipped clinic 
with a standby qualified doctor during the day and a nurse at night. We refer cases that need specialized attention. We also assist persons with disabilities to ensure that their stay at TAU is very comfortable. Clubs. We have many clubs. Mentorship club, entrepreneurship club, environmental club, the debate club, HIV and AIDS club, and many, many more. For religious denominations, we are well represented. So, no matter where you belong, you will find your rightful place, be it the SDA, the Catholic, the Muslim, or the Christian Union. Discipline. We expect high levels of discipline in campus. You will sign a code of conduct when normal studies resume. Any form of indiscipline may result in expulsion or suspension. Drugs. TAU is a drug-free zone. We don't condone any form of drugs within the institution. In case you're caught using any drugs, you risk expulsion. Dress code. Decent dressing is encouraged. Any form that is contrary will deny you entry to the university. We are as well preparing you for the job market and the earlier you start, the better for you. Transport. We provide free transport from school to Ktengela and vice versa. Accommodation. We have hostels for both ladies and gents. Staying on campus is a viable option. I hope once normal learning resumes, you will make use of the Student Affairs Office and the Student Leadership Office and fully participate in all the listed activities above. All employers are looking for students and graduates who have a range of skills, personal qualities and experience, which will help them to be productive in the workplace. Extra curriculum activities give you the chance to develop this by doing things you enjoy. This is the best opportunity to have fun and make yourself more employable at the same time. My name is Dr. Simon Dung, Dean School of Education. The School of Education, we, hope, we offer degree courses in arts. We take three or four years. We also have a diploma in education. It takes two years. Diploma in early child education, two years. And also certificate courses. We take one year. Um, those who take uh, degree courses, they have by selection of subjects to choose. There are quite a number of combinations. We have maths, business, geography. We also have English literature, Kiswahili history, CRA, geography, geography business, and they are like that. Besides doing the courses in degree, we normally subject our students to a whole term teaching practice, which is a must for every student. This is a very enjoyable time for students because this is the time they now interact with students who are in high school and they gain a lot of experience from the field. The school um, offers quite a number of um, uh, activities besides teaching because the exposure that you get within the university also makes you that not only is the, um, the academic that you gain from here but uh, uh, the sociability is an issue which is very very important. Uh, one of the uh, unit that is offered here is to do with uh, especially the ethics and governance because at the end of the day, we want a student who is going to be accepted outside there 
who has gained a lot of confidence and also who can be trusted. So that's why we incorporate governance and in ethics and governance as one of our core units. My name is Dr. Isaac. I'm the Dean School of Business. Uh, welcome to the East African University. Our School of Business has very good programs which are tailored for the business lives for whichever industry. In the School of Business, we have uh, degree programs uh, which are Bachelor of Business Management in Accounting. Uh, we have also an option in marketing. We also have uh, an option in human resource. And uh, we also have an option in uh, banking and finance. Uh, these programs are in, in undergraduate, they learn for four years, and they are in uh, semester programs. And our semesters learn from January to April. May to August and uh, September to December. We also have uh, programs in diploma in our School of Business, which are also uh, very marketable, meant to uh, promote our students to be able to do very well in the industry and also for their own uh, undertakings in life. And also we have uh, certificate the programs. The diploma programs they learn for two years and the certificate programs they learn for one year. Our mode of teaching, uh, we have the physical teachings, we have enough teaching facilities within the university. We also have the online teaching which we are using now during this epidemic and we are able to learn our programs very smoothly within the periods stipulated and we have very qualified and trained lecturers who are good in it and they are able to deliver the content online. We also have distance learning programs for those who are not able to be uh, in the online and the physical teaching. They can also receive our programs uh, using the uh, uh, distance learning uh, programs. Welcome at East African University. My name is Jose Mwanza. I'm the financial controller. Let me take this opportunity to welcome you at the East African University and take you through the financial procedures of the university. Fees payment is done through M-Pesa, pay bill or bank. No cash payment is allowed. M-Pesa payment reflects on the student portal immediately or within three working hours. Bank payment reflects immediately or within 24 working hours. When making payment, one must ensure to write the admission number correctly and in full. Names provided at the bank counter should also be correct and in full. Fees is paid in two installments. First installment of 40% must be done before registration of the unit. Second installment of 60% is paid before sitting of examination. This applies to continuing students. However, New students are encouraged to pay their fees in full at the beginning of each semester. At the beginning of every semester, the student must first register for the semester before making any payment. Fee statement and fee structure can be downloaded and printed directly from the student portal. Fee balance is also visible through the student portal at the fee section. For those who want to apply for help, help application is done through the help portal. It is important to keep track of the, dis of the disbursement through the provided help student portal. For any inquiry or fee payment, feel free to contact us on the following email, studentfinance at tau.ac.ke. Thank you. My name is Nyarango Johnson and I'm the academic registrar of this premier institution. I'm going to take this opportunity to take you through all the functions which are expected of us as well as the services which you may obtain from our offices from time to time. We'll start with the admission process. To be eligible for admission in an undergraduate program, a prospective student must have attained a minimum grade of C plus in their ACSE examinations. This will enable him or her to register for a course of his or her own choice. However, the cluster points for each course may differ as you will get to know 
once the process of admission begins. Eligibility to diploma and certificate programs. Prospective students must have attained a minimum of C minus and B plus in their KCSE examinations, respectively. Prospective students are required to fill an application form and pay an unrefundable application fee of a thousand shillings in order for their application to be processed and an admission letter to be generated. Students will receive an admission number which they will use for their for the entire period which they will be in the university. The next process is credit transfers. Students who have been studying in other recognized institutions are eligible to transfer their credits to our institution and continue with their studies. Students who may wish to transfer credits may contact my office for further guidance on the same. Now let's talk about class attendance. At our university we take class attendance very seriously. Thus students are expected to attend at least 75% of their lectures and other related activities for them to be considered for examinations at the end of the semester. This applies to both physical engagements and virtual engagements. Failure to meet the expected threshold of attendance, students will automatically not be considered for the end of semester examinations. Now let's head to examinations. The university administers examinations at the end of each semester of study. For considerations to write examinations, students are required to have paid all their fee balances, attain 75% class attendance, and must have done their coursework. Coursework represents 5% of the entire examination and it consists of both individual and group assignments and a sitting card done during the semester. The end of semester examination is out of 70%. Students must attain a minimum of 40% in a course for them to be deemed to have passed in that particular course. Students who have attained less than the required 40% will be deemed to have failed and they be required to retake the course at an extra fee as they will be advised. Students whose marks may be missing in the system for one reason or the other may fill a, mi a missing marks complaint form and my office will facilitate the retrieval and subsequent entry of the marks into the system. Uh, in your study at the East African University, you may require academic documents from time to time. So during request for academic documents, Requests for testimonials, recommendation letters and other academic documents are to be done at the registrar's office. The university has automated most of these services. However, students require all the documents they have downloaded and printed on their own to be signed and stamped at our office. In instances where the services you may require are not available digitally, students are advised to fill various request forms for various documents to facilitate the processing of the required documents. Now let's talk about the deferment procedure. Students who are registered for studies but are not able to attend due to unavoidable circumstances are permitted to defer the semester till such a time that they will be ready to resume their studies. Please note that the students can only defer for a period of up to one year. Students are required to fill a deferment form when deferring and a course resumption form when resuming their studies. All these services will be offered by the registrar's office. Finally, let's talk about graduation. Graduation is considered to be the epitome of your academic journey. Students who have satisfied all requirements as per the Senate guidelines will be considered for graduation. The requirements include, but they are not limited to fee clearance, internships, project writing, passing of all the units the student was undertaking, among others. In that regard, students are urged to take seriously their studies in order to graduate. My name is Dr. Kitambala Marcelin, the Vice Chancellor of the East African University, Kitengela, Kenya. We congratulate you for choosing the East African University to pursue your studies. Our university is among the best private universities in Kenya and in the region. The East African University, Kitengela, Kenya was founded in 2010, accredited with four academic programs. The program of business management, the program of computer science and information technology, the program of education, arts, and the program of business information technology. Regarding the management of the university, the university is managed by three organs. At the top level, 
we have the governors of the university. Within the governors, we have the board of trustees. The board of trustees is constituted by the founders of the university. Among the founders, there is also the promoter, who is Professor Ambassador Dunga Katerega. He is, he is always supported by Madame Jolie Nirankonda Katerega, who is the vice chairperson of the Board of Trustees. The second organ in the governors is the University Council. The chairperson or the chairman of the University Council is uh, Professor Sid Abidi. He always supports the vice chancellor and advise the management, the university management, how to manage the university diligently and appropriately. The third organ in the governance of the university is the chancellor, who plays a critical role, especially in confirmation of degrees and awarding certificates and diplomas to students who have completed their studies. At the lowest level, we have the vice chancellor. The vice chancellor is the one in charge of managing the university on daily basis. The vice chancellor is the chairman of three key organs of the university. Number one, the university senate, which deals with all academic issues. Number two, the university management boards, which deals with all administrative issues. And number three, the senior management board. At the middle level, we have the deputy vice chancellors. The deputy vice chancellor of academic affairs and the research, and the deputy vice chancellor of finance and administration. At the lowest level or operational level, we have all the deans of schools. Remember, we have three schools the School of Computer Science and Information Technology, the School of Business Management, and the School of Education. The deans work hand in hand with the academic registrar on the side of the deputy vice chancellor of academic affairs. So the registrar reports to the deputy vice chancellor of academic affairs. Within the faculty, the, the schools, we have also the departments. We have different head of departments. On the side of uh, deputy vice chancellor of finance and administration, we have the financial controller who manages different departments on behalf of the deputy vice chancellor of finance and administration. And she plays also a critical role in managing our human resources. They will, both of them, the deputy vice chancellor of academic affairs and research and the financial controller will get time to talk to you about the way they deal with students and the academic matters. Regarding um, our partnership, we have sister universities in Rwanda, the East African University Rwanda, and in Uganda, the Kampala University. So. In the, in the East African community, we have two sister universities, the East African University Rwanda and Kampala University. So the three universities, Kampala University, the East African University Rwanda, the East African University Kenya belong to one person who is the promoter of the three universities, Professor Ambassador Dunga Katerega, who lives in Uganda, in Kampala. Regarding uh, our graduation, 
so far we managed to confer degrees and award diplomas and certificate to four cohorts and recently we organized we organized our fourth commencement and it went well virtually and it was successful i think at my level i tried to summarize what is our university and how our university operates other explanations will be provided by my colleagues the david vast chancellor of academic affairs and research the financial controller the academic registrar the deans different deans of schools the head of departments and the different directors thank you very much and once again we wish you a very warm welcome to the east african university kitengela kenya thank you